I heard this from my buddy. So Mr. Howell represents greed. Greed. Okay. He's wealthy. Okay. You know? Um, then you've got the skipper. Big fat dude. Was he pride? No, no, no. The big fat dude. Sloth? He, he represents sloth. What does Gilligan represent? We're just skipping to the end, man. We okay, I'm sorry. Seven. Jeez, all right. We only got through two. Okay. All right. You've got... Uh, get to at some point. The beautiful starlet. What's her name? Ginger? Mm -hmm. She represents lust. Right? Okay. Yeah, and then the, the western version of lust. And then you've got the girl who, who is always playing second fiddle to Ginger, Marianne. Mm. She okay. looks up to Ginger. She wants to be Ginger. What do you call that? Envy? Envy. Okay. Miss Howell is... Sloth. Miss Howell is sloth? Why is Miss Howell sloth? She doesn't do anything. What's the professor? Wait a minute. No, no. She's not sloth. The professor, with his knowledge and his degrees, has educated himself into pride. Sloth. I thought... Marianne and, was pride. Sloth and anger, kind of. And Wrath is what you're thinking of. Yeah, you kind of see a bit of that in the skipper, too. But he's a big fat dude, he's also kind of small. Anyhow, you can assign the seven with one of the seven deadly sins. SpongeBob is much more obvious. Yes, because they did it on purpose. Yeah. But then it's Gilligan's Island. He always thwarts their plans to escape by being an imbecile. Mm. But maybe he's not really an imbecile. He wants to keep them there because you got seven of them and one of him. And he represents who? The devil. Gilligan is the devil. So just out of curiosity, I mean, has someone done a version of Gilligan's Island where they mash it up with Lost? Because that would be awesome. <laughs> I know, right?